taking the people from here to this place, to this area. From here, there's entrance to the olive press. But from here also, you have this area. And what we have here, you see how they cut the rock, a small platform. And on top of that, this was an altar. Hmm. Why you need an altar to sacrifice an animal? And of course, the blood and the juice that came going through this channel all the way where we are and then you collect it you can see that it's narrow and it starts to be much larger that way why you can collect more 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 blood more juice from the altar and you collect it then in the bowl made by ceramic stone whatever here in this area just to let you know when you sacrifice animals in the ancient time you're not putting all the animal on the altar some of the animal given to the priest some of the animals going to people that bring the animal to the to the to the, to the temple and some on the altar it depends which part of the animal going to be on the altar this one second there's very interesting story that that the bible tells us about hofni and pinias the son of eli what they did they took the best part from the animal for themselves mm -hmm. so it's mean not all the animal was on the altar and the people was complaining about that but this is when talking about sacrifice animals to god and this is the place where the sacrifice animal here in this place in this